everyone. Just kind of wanted to get a little emergency broadcast, uh, if you will, out about studying for the part 107 test using artificial intelligence. Now this issue just came up from someone who has been taking my part 107 practice test online and got to this question. If your unmanned aircraft is equipped with an ADSB out system, can you operate it in transmit mode to help other aircraft see you? Now this person answered yes. However, the correct answer is no. If you have ADSB out, you cannot use it in transmit mode unless you have approval from the FAA. And this comes straight from the regulations, part 107.53. Unless otherwise authorized by the administrator, the FAA, no person may operate a small unmanned aircraft system under this part, part 107, with ADSB out equipment in transmit mode. It's right there in black and white in the regulations. If you have ADSB out on your drone, you cannot operate it in transmit mode. Now this person either didn't trust me or they wanted to see what another answer might be somewhere else. So they copied that question and pasted it into Google. And this is what they got for an answer. Yes, if your unmanned aircraft is equipped with an ADSB out system, you should operate it in transmit mode at all times to ensure other aircraft can see your position and identify you on their traffic displays. This is generally required by regulations and turning off the transmit function is not recommended unless authorized by the relevant aviation authority. So not only is this answer from Google's artificial intelligence incorrect, but it is the exact opposite of what part 107 says. The problem with this is that part 91, the regulation governing operations of manned aircraft, says that you do need to have ADSB out transmitting to be able to fly in certain airspace like class B and C and above 10,000 feet. So yes, that is required in manned aircraft systems. However, artificial intelligence is not making that distinction between manned and unmanned aircraft systems. And so it just kind of combined the two into this answer, which is again, not just incorrect, but the opposite of what part 107 regulations say. So I just wanted to bring this up. If you are studying for your part 107 test, make sure you are using trusted sources, like an actual FAA instructor like myself, and not artificial intelligence, because you don't know where that information is coming from. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I will link to that practice test here if you want to check it out. Um, and good luck studying.